my facial viewers and welcome to another video. Yay! Okay, this is again, thanks uh, the wifey. <laughs> when she gets an inkling to buy, oh, we benefit. So, let's benefit. <laughs> okay, so I think I know what's in this one. So we're gonna start with this one. Um, hold on a minute. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so we do I want to put this? Okay, I swear I love having a, a desk drawer because you pull them out and they become instant shelves. Okay, this, uh, this package was bought on a 40% off coupon. Uh, so, she bought a bunch of supplies that she was going to need for her hobby slash budding business. And there's like, whatever you want, we'll take 40% off. And... I mean, that's, still, that's only a sneeze away from 50% off. Okay, I don't want to cut. Do dissection and um in in high school, you know you have to dissect the the frogs and the stuff like that. I think we did um we did bull sharks and we did frogs. I was at events high school. Everything was college bound. So anyway, I bureau of course. Because of that, I learned how to do this. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna put the whole package over here and we're gonna take them out one by one and we're gonna examine them. I have no idea what this is. Oh my God. Okay, okay. One thing at a time. <laughs> oh dear God, that's gorgeous. Oh, it looks just like Daisy. Okay, okay, I need to, I need to get this out. I need to get this out. <laughs> okay, recently, our daughter-in-law had to put down the family dog and her name was Daisy and she was just going through all kinds of Armageddon. Her um, internal organs were failing her. She was so scared. She was old. Oh my gosh. She was older than Methuselah, I'm sure. But the dog was old and she was given the best life. Um, there was just no, re no, yeah, it was, it, she was not in pain, but Lisa still recovering from her immense loss. With that said, let me, nope, you can't see that. can't see that very good. You can't. I wonder if I could pour some UV resin in this and let it set up. Hmm. I think I could pour UV resin in that. 
so you can see it, but it's, it is a Labrador. It is a Labrador. So, I'm sorry you can't see it better. That disappoints me because I want to show it to you so badly. Okay, so this is some spirographs for the kids. I'm not sure if you can see that. Because all you need is the paper and the colored pencils. They have all that. Let me bring this back up. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, and it's on blue. Oh, that's much less subtle. But yeah, everything that we used to get with the spirographs is in here. Um, Timu just... Well, when you buy stuff in retail, because they did all the hunting for you, so believe it or not, you do one of those oblong shapes with that. And then you have the little football that's in here. Hold on. Is there a bag in a bag? In a bag? <laughs> yes, there's a bag in a bag. Okay. So we're not going to screw with that. But all the little itty bitty pieces that you get in spirographs is in here. And then you would have to hunt down the, the frame to, to use, and then you have to hunt down the pencils. Well, instead of paying $30 for Spirograph, you end up paying around $10. The downside is you have to get the bits and pieces yourself, which is okay. I'm okay with that, believe it or not. She got a lot of these four bottles, didn't she? I guess we're gonna really need them. I mean, if she bought them that much. Now these, oh, I know what these are. I mean, I, oh, no wonder. They're scented. Okay, these are scented. So that when you use them, they don't smell bad. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, we got four of them in there. It's not, it's not a big whoop de doo haul. Um, let's see, we got four of them in there. And the UV resin bottles all the way over there, which I can't get. Um, I guess we can open one. You know, we've got four of them. So I will open one. Scented. That's what all the flowers and the lilac is for. It's scented. Um, normally, when you use resin, you do get a, a chemically scent because that's normal. Uh, when you expose UV resin, a uh, UV resin to light, it interacts with the chemical reaction, and you will get a slight odor. That is normal. It is not toxic. It just smells odd. Now, if you don't want the odd smell, you can get the scented one, so you don't have to smell the odd smell. Why did we get four of them? <laughs> I'll tell you. This is what, 200 milligrams? Yes, 200 milligrams. So, for 500, um, 500 milligrams runs around $30. 500 milligrams of UV resin. No, they don't go by ounces or pounds. You got by metric. So, one of these is $10. But if I bought the 500 ounces, that would be $30. So if I get the $30 and buy one, two, three of these, this $30, I end up with 100 grams more resin. And I don't know why she got the fourth one, but I'll take that too. I am not. So I got plenty of resin to do what I got. She's got a few things to fix up 
our um, art projects. So we're going to start those. We're gonna, believe it or not, we've got so much planned that we have to start now making Christmas gifts. <laughs> so, oh my God. You should see. Let me, let me show you what we're making. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are so cute. Okay. First off. I don't know if you can see this, but this is Nightmare Before Christmas. That's my theme. And then see? Oh my god, you see that? You see that? Okay, let me pull back. Yeah, this little bits of um I gotta like polish it off around the edges. But yeah, and then let me go, oh, that's a good one right there. There you go, there you go. Isn't that cute? Oh, 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 let me show you another one. Let me show you a different mold. Now these are key, uh, like you put a little keychain ring right in there. See that little divot right in there? Yeah, that's supposed to be a keychain thing. And then, oh my God, this is gorgeous. I've been making a lot of snowflakes. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Oh, oh, look at that one, look at that one. Isn't that one cute? Okay. And then, the stickers that we did a long time ago, I got some uh, 3D stickers of fishes. Isn't that cute? I don't think you, oh, oh, you can see that. You can see that. Oh, let me, let me see if I can get you a better one. But this is what we've been working on. Oh, can you see? I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but these are really, really cute. Those what we've been working on. Uh, so everything that you've seen me unpack last week, we've been busy. Oh, we've been busy. Well, like I said, we got to start now on the Christmas presents. Well, we're never going to get them done. Because it's not just the pouring. You see, with her, with um, epoxies, there are two types of resin. There's epoxy resin and there's UV resin. I'm a UV resin person. I want to pour, flash the light, and five minutes my product is done the problem with that is that if you don't do it carefully you can end up with bubbles what my wife my wife is a slow as you go she pours it tonight let it sit for 24 hours and tomorrow she will be unmolding some wonderful pieces the problem with that you gotta wait 24 hours <laughs> i have I have the attention span of a hyperactive gnat. <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. Okay, now this. This is definitely a QVC find. And I know it's not a peppy. <laughs> oh, geez. And I think I know what it is. Um. Uh, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's boring, but we kind of needed it if, um, if you have one, you have none. If you have one, you have none. Okay. If, um, no. Nah. why I say that because winter for us is a few weeks away and we need to start batting down because the farmer almanac is indicating that this winter may be a harsh winter um, one of the things that you've got to have and I know it's I know it's mundane I know it's mundane I know it's boring but when you're hungry and you can't get to your food, and not all food is pop top. You need an opener. 
we have a can opener. That is not a problem. However, the can opener is acting weird. If can openers can act weird, this one's acting weird. Because sometimes it opens the can and sometimes it don't. So, instead of waiting around for something to break. Uh, let's see. My wife just decided it's time to get a new can opener. Uh, so, guess what? We got a new can opener. I should save this pack of change. I may have to put someone's Christmas gift in it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not, oh, yeah. Save your packaging, reuse it. It is way too expensive for packaging nowadays, I tell you. Okay. So. Oh, this is much more advanced than what we have. So in case you don't have your, you know, your nails, you can't pick it up. So you got the little bird beak to do the pop top. You got the bottle open on this side. You got the soda bottle on that side. It could go up to three liters if they even make three liters anymore. And of course you got your can opener. It's no big whoop, but when you're trying to eat and you're hungry, and you're getting on the borderline of hangry, you need one or two. Uh, so yeah, if we only have one, we're getting ready to go into winter. If it breaks, we don't need to be risking it. It's better to have it and not need it and ha instead of needing it and not having it, you know? But it's, it's not a big deal. We have to go through this every year. We go through our, uh, I wouldn't say disaster, I wouldn't even say prepping, just in case, just in case you were stuck in your home over the winter, for not even a week, maybe three or four days. Are you able to stay in your home three or four days without going to the store and buying up half the supermarket? You know, that's it. That's it. So if, you know, just in case we need it, we got it. Like I said, I'd rather have it and not need it instead of needing it and not having it. So that's a biggie. Um, that's the rest of our little haul. Um, I hope you have fun. I have fun showing it. And hopefully, hopefully really soon, I get to show you the pores and the unmolding. Uh, only because, you know, it's kind of hard to show it, to film it, because she's in the back room and unlike the UV resin, the epoxy resin, you need a rebreather, you need to wear some kind of mask over your face. So there's not going to be any talking, which is not a problem because I know how to overlay the music now. Um, but the lighting back there is terrible. And, I, you know, it's going to have to be, I'm going to have to be over her shoulder, literally over her shoulder looking down because we don't have a camera to face down just yet. Um, so there's no way for me to film her while being in the way. And she don't know how to position it herself because she's just not a YouTuber. So maybe I can do the, uh, the unmolding. I don't know about the pouring. I could do a pour on the UV resins. I, I don't know. That's that's all here and there. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. If you've been here this long, go ahead and put a snowflake in the comments below. So I know I wasn't alone all this time. Till next time, guys. We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna prepare for the worst. But I guarantee you, we're all gonna be somewhere in the middle. Till next time.